Hello friends, greetings. Uh, the engineering drawing is an important element in uh, uh, in, uh, in the uh, design and development. So, but uh, the engineering drawing that we uh, study in our curriculum, either in polytechnic or uh, during our mechanical engineering or any uh, allied uh, engineering sciences, uh, it is only a basic principle. But when you come on to the organization, when you come into industry, uh, you will actually see the production drawings uh, where lot of basic principles are same but where lot of uh, information is there print reading becomes very essential understanding and uh, basic principle of engineering drawing become essential for any design engineer or a manufacturing engineer or an uh, engineer working in quality for the inspection so print reading for them becomes a very essential thing so uh, for uh, most of the industries use either asme standards or iso standard but there are a little bit of differences but overall the principle of engineering drawing reading are uh, intact so majorly about me quickly i'll introduce myself i am an engineering graduate in industrial engineering and management from uh, vishweshwaraya technological university in india and i did my tool and die making from edtf and then i also did uh, uh, precision engineering in precision machining from ite balestier with i have a 20 plus years of industrial experience in different domains like manufacturing semiconductor and aerospace engineering and management i am also asme certified in uh, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing professional so as a part of engineering drawing uh, we will be discussing on uh, discussing into uh, five different groups those are the introduction to engineering drawing elements of engineering drawing types of engineering drawing we will be discussing about casting forging and molded parts and then typical symbols that we use on the production drawing so in the introduction we will be covering need of drawings line conventions principle of projection and section views these are the certain things that you might have studied in your uh, polytechnic or uh, your engineering graphics part of engineering graphics but here we will be looking into a perspective from the industrial uh, from the perspective of industry with in accordance with asme y14 standards so asme y14 standards covers uh, drawing and drafting standards those standards all all the elements of those standards will be uh, touching upon which are uh, practiced in industry so second section will be uh, talking about uh, elements of drawings there we'll be discussing about drawing templates drawing title block what all information goes into that and drawing notes and drawing revision block which is also known as uh, configuration control of the uh, drawings those will be dealing in detail during the second part of the engineering drawing and print reading session in the third session is a little elaborative and crux uh, crux of this uh, print reading session here we will be discussing about uh, different types of drawings like detailed drawing, sub-assembly drawing, assembly drawing, installation drawing, layered drawings, interface drawings, arrangement drawings, control drawings, inseparable drawings, mechanic schematic drawings, modifying drawings, identification of cross-reference drawings. So these are uh, different drawings are applicable in different uh, product lines and different industries. We will be looking at samples of these drawings and how it is uh, done in the industry and then we will be uh, looking at some of the examples to understand the print reading and then the relationship between the each of these drawings. During the fourth session, we will be looking at uh, typical symbols which are used uh, uh, in fabricating the equipments like welding symbols, surface structure and thread representation. So finally, we will be looking at casting and forging and molded parts. So casting and forging and molded parts are a special purpose drawings. Uh, these have a, uh, different uh, notifications, different requirements compared to our machining drawings. So uh, be because of their uh, process uh, and then the manufacturing process, they need a certain uh, additional elements to be defined in the drawing uh, as compared to the uh, machine drawings. So those details we will be discussing here in this section with some examples. So please uh, leave your comments if you want to know detail about these things. Uh, definitely I will be able to help you all. Thank you. Have a good day.